Hey guys, and welcome back to more Nightmare of Decay. I actually forgot what we was playing there for a minute. Well, I didn't technically forget what we was playing. I just forgot the name. Um, yeah, so anyway, when we last left off, we made it into the basement. Uh, some kind of strange, weird hole in the wall that our, our boy William, I believe his name is William, found and uh, tried to cover up. Uh, yeah, weird cultists. We walked in through the door. And uh, saw James Sunderland take two to the chest. Pretty horrific stuff. Anyway, let's keep going. We have our trusty pistola. Ooh. The circular thing on the wall. Is there now? James had a circular thing. Ah, the cultist ran off with it, didn't he? Yes. I remember. Yink. Let's grab all this good stuff. I mean, this has kind of taken a uh, different turn. Kind of feels a little bit more like a uh, doom shooter. Or, do you know what this feels like, actually? You know what this feels like? This feels like Quake. I guess there's no enemies around because we have no sprint bar. All right. Oh, we got a sprint bar. Oh, we got spitters. All right. How do they attack? Pull one out for the spitters. There's still more. Alright. Come to Papa. Oh, hello. Viva Muero. Aha. There's old boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna be laughing soon, friend. Ooh. Come on. I mean, Ah, oh, bless him. He didn't even fight back. Maybe because I was riddling his body full of holes. But, you know. Oh! I mean... Best way with these guys is to just run up and shoot the shit out of them, I guess. Let's get the shotgun out. We are kind of running low on the old ammunition here. Well, that's curious. Oh! <laughs> oh man! All right, there's a there's a big boy, giant spider. It's kind of like Black Tiger, but not. Oh, attack with a melee weapon. Yeah, don't really have a melee weapon. Oof. At my disposal right this very second. Thanks, dude. Oh, God. That's fine. You know what? It wasn't that tough. And I guess there's no, like, poison mechanics. Alright. I thought that was going to be way worse than it actually was. We get three of our shotgun shells back as well. Which, admittedly, isn't as many as we came out with. I mean, he died happy, I guess. Oh, we could use some TNT. Right, let's go back with the old handgun. Now, did mention something about using a knife. I wonder if there's any other webs that we can cut. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I mean, you know enemy with some different mechanics. That was kind of cool. Right, let's get out of here. So we've got a plate. Now, are there any more spiders? And is there any goodies in here either? I get the feeling we're probably on bad caution. Um... Actually, no. Alright, that spider really didn't do that much damage to us at all. 
curious. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go take our spoils back. Um, now. If I was a plate majig, hang on. Wait. Right, so there's a plate holder there. And there's a plate holder here. Okay. Circular slot. Are these both the same thing? Circular slot. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Ooh, magnum rounds. And a golden tablet. So I'm guessing we need another one of those. Yeah, because we can't pick that one back up. So we've got a golden tablet. All right. So what, pray tell, can we use a golden tablet for? Oh. Oh, there's three circular. Okay. All right. So we've killed a giant spider. Shot him in the throat. Or at least shot him in his big bug-like eyes. Several times. Um, you know. Not too bad. Interesting. Some of the bosses are quite interesting. So I guess that one on the far side. We've been through there. So that's where we fought the spider, wasn't it? Right. Square slot. Ah! I see. Right, gotcha. So lots of supplies behind these golden doors, uh, these silver doors. That's cool. Evening. Yeah, there, fella. You see a heavily wounded man lying against the wall. He is just barely clinging on to life. Please listen to me. There's a monstrous beast in the caves beyond that door. I tried to escape from it, but it was too fast. If you see it, don't try and fight it. Just run. Run from the beast. Well, alright. If you say so. I'm going to take my shotgun. Beasts, you say, that run at you. Curious. Evening! Sound like we've got some zombies. Oh, you're not a zombie. Oh, jeez. Come get some. Wait, are they the thing that runs? That can't be what he was talking about. Can't be what he was talking about. There's got to be... Oh, I forgot we had the holy water. There's got to be something a little bit nastier walking around here somewhere. Hello. Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. So, what is he talking about? So, we've got another door with a key. Alright, looks like we're safe so far. Alright, I'm not seeing this overwhelming amount of danger. What's making all that bloody noise? Oh! The hell is that? Skeletons? It's like saying I have Elder Scrolls. You know what? <laughs> I mean, that works. So we got freaking skeletons to deal with as well. If that's not an Elder Scrolls reference, I don't know what is, Chief. Alright, whatever. So we got 18 in the shotgun. 
Evening. No time to play with you. So what the hell? Something fast that runs. At warp, ooh, warp speed. Is it when we grab the plate? Could be. Well. Okay, I mean, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, it's 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 Monty Python, monstrous beast, and we don't have a holy hand grenade. We do have a holy water though. Ooh. Yeah, because that handgun was doing nothing. Alright. <laughs> that was um, super effective. Oof. Almost down to our last magazine. Key of the Beast. What's that for? Um... Fuck is key. Ah, and then, all right. It's just a flesh wound as we annihilate his face with some holy water. Holy water seems pretty powerful. In all fairness. Oh right, key of the beast. It's got to be for this here. Surely. All right. Wow. Wow, we got some gear for that one. Okay. Alright, I mean... Yeah, he must be talking about the uh, the rabbit. Must have been. So it wasn't those weird little scurly fuckers. And those skelly bags. Well, you know. Bones crack. Ooh. Bones, should we? Uh, so, if we unlock this one, uh, circular slot, circular slot. Um, ah, cellar key. Have we got a cellar key? Do we have a? We do have a cellar key. Right. Okay. So, let's go and use you there. And see what we have in here. We've got a first aid. Oh, Lord's Diary 4. There is something evil down here, and I feel that it has taken over my mind. The whispers tell me to commit horrible crimes, to kill the others in the manor. They get louder and louder every day, and it's only a matter of time before I succumb. Forgive me, Irma. I have doomed us all. You damnable fool! Well, I guess it happens to the best of us after a while. Alright, well, boop. Now, something evil down here. Well, I mean, that's sort of obvious. So, you're telling me that we've got to go, we, we hit the save point through here. Right, alright. Son of a... I can't actually remember... Oh, that's not the right way to go, is it? No. So, how did we get the save point? Uh, the save point. The uh, cellar key. I don't actually remember getting the cellar key. And when was the last time I played this game? Uh, yesterday. But I'm guessing... We've got to go... Out here. Um, ooh, buggies. Lots of buggies. Buggies that go squish underfoot. Sometimes items are used straight away. And sometimes they're not. It's kind of odd. I don't mind it. Ooh. Alright. 
I mean, this is certainly a cellar. Evening. Evening. Let's see if we can't get rid of some of these guys. Come on. Don't be like this. Don't do me in the corner like this, guys. Now. Four rounds. Might have to be a little bit... A little bit careful with the old ammunition here. Uh, we remember from last time, there was ammo and supplies and things hidden under the water. So... Let's keep our little eyes but Ooh, shotgun shells. Certainly have you. Tuck those puppies away into our pocket. Oh, damn it. Guys, seriously. Ooh. You know what? Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. Man, that kicks some serious ass. Oh, I like the TNT. I really like... Can we destroy these? thought one of them exploded with the TNT. I might be wrong. I mean, we've got a holy water, which is like a super TNT. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you're a little bit different. Is that a fucking regenerator? That is a regenerator. Right. That's probably going to be a problem. Unless. Let's hit the puppy with one of these. Come on, you ugly motherfucker. There we go. Alright. Oh. Well then. So anyway, uh, let's keep going. I like the way there's literally a regenerator in the game. That's kind of funny. I mean, he kind of looked like a derpy regenerator. Hello. But regenerator all the same. One down. Two down. Oof. Three down. Hold on, sir. I'll be with you in a second. There we go. Right. Now, this has been a little... Ooh, hello. Thank you. Needed those. Almost got a full magazine. Old newspaper clipping. Mass murder at Haunted Manor. Irma Herdsaw, wife to prominent businessman William Herdsaw, and their many living servants have been found murdered at a manor known to locals as being haunted. The bodies of the servants were brutally mutilated, and Irma Herdsaw was found decapitated in her bed. Ah. William Herdsaw, the main suspect of this heinous crime, has gone missing and believed to be on the run. Yep, well, I'm assuming he might be the chainsaw guy, maybe. He, oh. He may very well be the chainsaw guy. Ah. So what do we have to fight for this one? Or was just getting it. Task enough. Yep, looks like it. Alright. Fuck this shit. We're out. Alright, that was that was really cool. I <laughs> I love the way there's a regenerator. And it is down there that we've got to go, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. Yes it is. Yeah, that was Badass, man. You just frag him with the holy water. 
Holy water seems to cure all sins. We like that. So, circular slot, square slot. So just this one here. So what do you got for me this time? Boop, boop. We've got, oh, dynamite. Shells. Okay, how many shells have we got? We're back up to 24. No, 22. Do math, come on. Okay, 22 shotgun shells. Should be enough for now. Now, we have no idea what's over there. Uh, do we save it first? That's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I mean, that. Ah. I mean. Can you say boss fight? I can say boss fight. Everyone must die. I think I'll start with the servants that installed the wardrobe over the hole. They know too much and may warn the others. My new friends in the dungeon offered to help me with the killings, of course. I gladly accepted. Oh my! Well, well, well. Is that how it's going to be? Well, if that's how it's going to be... We've got a few magnum rounds here. Let's... Have we got a holy water? We have got a holy water. A flask filled with water that has been blessed with holy power can be thrown to produce a divine explosion that deals massive amounts of damage to the unholy creatures of the nightmare. Excellent. Alright, well... Oh yeah. Evening. Sir Knight, Lord of the Nightmare. Oh, he did not like that shit. Did not like that shit at all, did you? That he wasn't as bothered by. Oh. Oh, okay, we've got a hit him in the head. I think. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's eat a first aid kit. Ugh, much better. Come on, sir. Play nice now. I have set you free from your damnable torment. You good? I think we're good. What a terrible nightmare. You're covered in sweat and your heart is thundering in your chest as you get up from your bed. It's still the middle of the night, and it'll be some time before the sun rises. But you don't feel like going back to sleep, not after that horrific nightmare. Maybe a short walk outside and some fresh air will help calm you down. Oof. Uh, I don't feel like playing games right now. Yeah, we've been there. We've seen it in our dreams. <clears throat> Can't watch TV. I can use this to heat up food. Let's go for a little walk. Oh! The black cat. Hello, mate. Haven't seen you for a little while. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't follow the black cat down the red corridor. This could be bad. Hello again, stranger. 
Did you really think you could escape from the nightmare? It's like I said in the beginning, no one ever escapes alive. Huh. You have awakened from the nightmare. Have we, though? But the real nightmare has just begun. Thank you for playing. Night ah! Two hours, 20 minutes. Extra game modes have been unlocked and can now be accessed from the extras menu. Um, escape from a procedurally generated dungeon. And survive against endless waves of enemies. Um, okay, and you can disable cultists. Probably because, you know, they're pretty lame <laughs> to fight. I can imagine, you know, having guns and whatnot. I mean, okay. So, Nightmare of Decay. Probably one of the best, um, I guess, horror games that I've played. I mean, it's not really that scary, but it was good it did exactly what it set out to do and that was to be a um i guess horror first person shooter in the same vein of some of the earlier survival horror games and it worked the puzzles although simple were fun um and they made sense there's no moon logic anywhere which i liked i enjoyed all the cool little references to past games like the characters from silent hill and, uh, you know, the gentle nods, I think the zombies, the regenerators, um, they were really fun. Yeah. Including some optional stuff there, like collecting all the female heads. The female uh, heads for the weird demon thing. That was fun, too. Um, I want to see this guy do more. This was really good. Like, if they do a sequel for this... Um, I would be so down. I mean, the story was barely there, but it was enough. Just enough to string you along, get you interested. Visually, the tone was perfect. The audio was good as well. You know, and the gunplay. The gunplay was really satisfying. It was basic. You had your pistol, your shotgun, your magnum, and, you know. Um, but it worked. And it worked really well. Uh, and it didn't overstay its welcome. Two and a half hours. Would I say this game's worth it? I mean, I paid like 80p for it in a sale. Um, for $4.99, uh, no, $3.99, I think the game costs. Uh, yeah, absolutely worth it. Just for a little nostalgia trip. And this game even has extras as well. Like, really? Okay, um, yeah, maybe I'll take a look at those at some point, but to be honest, not really that interested in horde modes or endless dungeons. Um, but no, fantastic stuff. Uh, the ending is kind of interesting, because you escape and the cat isn't really your friend, <laughs> and you get horribly murdered at the end, which... Well, I mean, who knows? We Maybe we got sucked back in. Maybe there's a Nightmare of Decay 2 on the horizon. I don't know. But I'm happy with that. I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.